Oke okay guys, welcome back to the channel, back of the channel. Oke, okay, hari ini kita akan bermain game NBA 2K23. Seperti biasa kita akan membuat karakternya dulu ya guys. Tapi di sini kayaknya ada sedikit kesalahan di game gua ya. Gua nggak bisa ganti nama lagi nih. Karena tadi udah sempat gua coba, tadinya mau Pecopelo namanya, cuma karena udah sempat ke save ternyata nggak bisa diubah lagi pas gua mau ubah malah ke close gamenya ya udah jadi oke okay lah kita pakai nama yang ini aja ya oke okay, kita lanjut untuk posisi kita pakai SF ya nah untuk tinggi badannya kira-kira seperti ini nah ini wingspan wingspan ini lebar dari kanan sampai kiri kalau tangan kita dilebarin ya nah terus untuk weightnya kita 225 aja nah setahu gua SF ini atau small forward ini sebagai winger ya dia mainnya di pinggir-pinggir tuh pojok-pojok Nah dari wingspan ini kita bisa lihat di fisikalnya Semakin kita kecilin wingspannya Strength kita semakin gede guys Ya ada plus minusnya lah ya Tapi buat gua 6, 69 atau 68 lah ya Cukup lah Karena 70 itu terlalu lebar lah menurut gua Kemudian nah, kita lihat lagi ada atribut di sini ya, ada finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense atau rebound sama physical. Nah, ini nih build kita ini settingan body kita bakal ngaruh ke sana juga ya. Untuk body shape kayaknya enakan solid aja lah ya, biar nggak terlalu keker berotot. nah ini atribut kita tinggal kita setting setting nah close shot shooting dari jarak dekat nah ini dekat dekat sama ring nih dia nih kalau buat sf harus dinaikin sih ya biar bagus lah biar bisa masuk masuk ke dalam 85 lah ya cukup ya Oke, okay, kemudian lay up. Nah, sebagai winger kita harus bagus ya lay up-nya ya supaya bisa loncat tuh dari keramaian, menembus keramaian. Terus driving dunk. Nah, ini nih. Kalau nggak ngedang ini kurang asik. Standing dunk-nya nggak usah terlalu gede lah ya. Post control. Oke, okay, post control nggak usah gede-gede banget ya. Nah sekarang ini sebenarnya lagi eranya 3 point shooter kan Bahkan center-center aja kayaknya sekarang banyak yang 3 point shoot loh dia Kita coba gedein lah ya Mid range Nah ini Menengah Shooting jarak menengah Di depan 3 point shoot ya Masih di dalam lingkaran Nah free throw ini juga penting buat SF menurut gua karena kita biasanya pas masuk ke dalam itu dilanggar tuh ya kita dapat foul lumayan bisa dapat free throw kalau free throw kita jelek wah percuma nanti yang ada kita malah minus poinnya ya Kemudian untuk ball handle nah, ball handle nih juga enak nih buat kita bawa bawa bola ya pas akurasi karena kita main di sayap ya umpan kita harus bagus biar bisa dari ujung kanan langsung ke ujung kiri atau ke tengah biar langsung di shoot nah untuk interior defense ini nih enakan interior apa perimeter ya kalau perimeter ini ability nya buat 
ya jagain orang sih kayaknya sama kontes shoot from outside nah, berarti dari luar tuh kalau nggak salah ya kita gedein aja ya nah stilnya ikutan naik oke bakal agak lama sih ini nah stilnya enak nih jadi kita bisa nyolong nyolong bola orang nih blok nggak usah gede gede banget lah blok ya maksimalnya juga kita nggak gede gede banget tuh paling 80-an kayaknya wah ribbon ini sih mentok lagi dia kurang ternyata harus ada yang kita kurang kurangin dari start sebelumnya ya forward kalau nggak bisa ngeribon ini agak susah nanti apalagi kita yang mainnya ke dalam kan kalau yang shooter-shooter di luar mungkin nggak terlalu berasa karena dia nggak masuk-masuk ke dalam buat ngeribon bola ya kita coba kurang-kurangin close shot nya kita kurangin aja kali ya lay up supaya kita bisa naikin yang fisikalnya ini penting juga sih vertikal kita terlalu kecil tuh sama strength masa kita dialingin nanti jatuh kan nggak lucu oke okay, kita sudah selesai edit start ya nah ini untuk primary take over kita Slasher. Nah ini untuk kita buat masuk-masuk tuh dari pinggir. Yang kedua shot creator supaya kita bisa bikin shooting ya. Biar balance lah kita bisa masuk, ngedang, lay up, sama nge shoot supaya nggak ketinggalan ketinggalan banget sama meta meta three point shooter sekarang ya. Oke. Okay. Let's go Kita langsung Siap-siap ke game pertama kita Nah Kita di sini jadi inside di arc scorer Nah ini mirip-mirip Danny Granger Jimmy Butler sama Scotty Barnes Danny Granger ya Sama Butler Barnes Oke kita langsung mulai aja Nah, kita skip aja tadi ya intronya buat yang nggak tahu nanti tuh kita dibully guys di draft pick kita ya eh, sebenarnya tadi gue salah pencet sih ya tadi gue pengen pencet no eh, malah pencet yang yes dia udahlah ya nih kita ngasal aja lah gue nggak tahu banget nih tentang college nya nah kita lanjut aja yang tadi kita skip ya kita tuh tadi dibully karena kemarin gue udah sempat nyoba kita dibully tuh disorakin lah di draft pick karena menurut orang-orang tuh kita nggak layak di draft sama tim yang nanti bakal kita pilih karena ada satu orang nih kayaknya yang bakal jadi saingan kita si Owen kalau nggak salah namanya nah orang-orang bahkan media ya lebih ngerasa lah si awan ini lebih cocok kita jadi disorakin wah parah sih kacau disorakin parah kita oke kita milih aja ya tim apa yang mau kita masukin buat tim pertama kita gue udah sempet cari referensi tadi tim mana yang enak sekiranya buat small forward kayak kita dan gue mutusin buat masuk ke Dallas Maverick bareng Luka Doncic ya guys ya karena gue lihat SF di 
Dallas ini masih nggak terlalu bagus kayaknya dari overallnya ya dari overall karakternya tuh masih ya masih bisalah kita gantiin kalau tim-tim lain terlalu berat kayaknya buat kita ya oke okay. kita bisa langsung aja nih play next game ya ini ada quest quest nah ini karakter kita mirip-mirip kasih miru ternyata ya padahal gue tadi nyobanya mirip-mirip orang Indo bah tapi pas dilihat-lihat loh loh lo kok miripnya sama kasih miru ada my start nah ini nanti jadi start kita ya selama ya game-game kita lah kita ngeribaun berapa asis berapa steal berapa poin berapa nah ini injury report kalau kita nanti cedera nah ini rooster kita guys oh ada Irving juga ternyata ya ada doncik Irving ah, eh, enak dong ya enaknya di NBA yang ini kita bisa langsung milih tim ya dulu gue pernah main yang NBA 12 udah lama banget tuh itu kita ada wawancara guys nanti kita di interview sama tiga tim kalau nggak salah terus banyak pertanyaan tuh nah dari pertanyaan-pertanyaan itu nentuin kita tuh bakal kepilih di tim mana untuk difficult kita pro dulu aja lah ya nanti kalau kita udah mulai nambah jago baru kita naikin oke kita masuk ke next game oh ternyata ada card Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. Kita dulu ya. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> well, well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this chef thing. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay. Yeah. So just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep. And of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Mm -hmm. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not going to take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play and we've got a distraction dulu, ya, guys. it's bad for your growth bad for team chemistry and it makes phil boyer look bad mm -hmm. he stuck his neck out for you on draft night okay so what's the solution glad you asked we focus on the fan base and we develop a strategy to win their affection okay it sounds like my playing time is based on what if i can make the fans like me or not <laughs> <laughs> i know it's ridiculous but everything's connected okay and if we don't deal with this in a holistic manner it could affect the bottom line when the bottom line's affected governors aren't happy when the governors aren't happy nobody's happy i just want to be a pillar in the community mm -hmm. so if we can make the happiness part of that i'm in i don't want to do a bunch of pr fluff though same page same page 100 percent okay and i've already talked to your team about all of this impressive group of people by the way And they're gonna take the lead on it, but my door is always open. Freddy, I really appreciate your transparency, man. I'm just Truly. doing my job. Just doing my job. Believe me, it's an honor to work with someone as talented as UMP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. Okay. Omongan yang cukup panjang ya. Just doing my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Oh, ini coach kita. Always like to see in a draft pick, but you already knew that. Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. 
The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't, mm -hmm. so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. All right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Cool. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Good. Now, look. Right now, based on what we saw in Summer League, mm -hmm. we're going to start you off at the end of the bench. That'll allow you to build up your game slowly and steadily outside of the spotlight. But if you put in the work and show progress, your role will change. Mm-hmm. I see. I know this isn't what you wanted. But believe me, we don't see you as some fringe NBA player. You put in the work, show improvement in the minutes you do get, we'll ramp up your responsibilities. I mean, me being the competitor that, that I am, I mean... It hurts, Coach. I can't even lie to you. You know, I never expected myself being some end of the bench dude. But I promise you this. I will not let it affect my approach. I got you, Coach. I get it. 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. If you want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. Are we doing? Exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Coach, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. See you out there. Right, you. Okay. Nah, buat yang belum tahu ya. Tadi tuh kita pas di draft pick kita dibully ya, dibu kita, uh, disorakin kita. Karena menurut orang-orang ada yang lebih pantas daripada kita buat masuk ke tim ini ya. Kalau nggak salah namanya siapa tadi? Owen Owen siapa ya? Nah nanti akan ada cutscene-nya nih. On the floor for the visiting Dallas Mavericks. At small forward, Tim Hardaway Jr. At the other forward position, Reggie Bullock. At center, Christian Wood. Ini pemain-pemain kita. At shooting guard, Kyrie Irving. Ber Kyrie Irving juga ternyata ya. At the other guard position, Luka Doncic. Nah ini dia Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason Kidd. Nah, gua pilih tim ini karena menurut gua posisi small forwardnya masih bisa lah kita ganti. Oke untuk Phoenix Suns kita skip aja kali ya. Oh, Okay, Ali, thank you. Well, the fans were a bit brutal when MP was selected, Grant. You know, BA fans sometimes can get pretty emotional on draft night, but they took it to a whole nother ah, level when MP was pretty selected. Pretty emotional so in the, the draft. For the, the draft. They've got Luka Doncic. Ya. Tim Hardaway. Jadi di draft itu kemarin kita tuh disorakin sama penonton. Dan bahkan orang-orang tuh pada enggak setuju kalau kita yang masuk ke Tim Dallas ya. Mereka lebih ngerasa ada satu orang nih saingan kita kayak nanti. Cuma gua agak lupa namanya tadi siapa ya. Bahkan ini ada pertandingan yang keskip nih. Pertandingan sebelum kita masuk ke Liga NBA-nya ini. Kita tadi bakal ngelawan sama saingan kita tadi. Bahkan di situ kita 
ya ada percekcokan lah sedikit kita diejek tapi ya, kita udah buktiin ternyata kita yang menang di pertandingan itu dan permainan kita lebih bagus tapi ya gini kayaknya di NBA yang ini kita harus ngebuktiin buat bikin pemain kita tuh lebih bagus dari si saingan kita ini Oke, kita langsung aja ya masuk ke gameplay buka Oke seperti biasa kita biasanya akan main dari bangku cadangan Jadi apa kita? Nah yang penting buat kita kalau gue ya Kalau menurut gue nih Kita kan masih rookie nih Stat kita gak bagus-bagus banget juga Kita main defensif dulu aja Supaya gak banyak kena turnover terus gagal bikin poin juga kan ngurangin poin ya kalau defense asal kita jagain pemain yang harus kita jaga tuh, kita bisa cari-cari poin lah curecilan nah sama ini nih, yang penting nih bikin space buat teman-teman kita tuh, lumayan poinnya nah di atas kan ada grade kita masih cek nih ya yang penting kita gedein itu dulu aja tuh nah kalau ini masuk dapat asis nah kita asis-asis saja poin gak usah gede-gede banget dulu lah nah yang penting pemain kita kita jaga nih kita bakal lawan duran nanti kalau dia main ya ada shot clock juga di tengah lapangan itu dan dia pasti ngesut ya nah dapet terus gua nggak jago-jago banget juga ya guys dan bisa main malah gua nih masih belajar jadi ya kita sama-sama belajar aja ya cuma dulu gua pernah main di NBA yang 2012 udah lama banget situ dulu masih musimnya orang ngedang-ngedang tuh Rudy G waktu itu wah gokil sih kali gerak langsung ngedang gerak ngedang dia nah. Nah, kita bikin set screen dulu aja nih buat teman-teman kita nih. Nah, kita alingin gini. Masuk kah? Nah, main lah banyak langsung ceplos kan. Sambil nunggu kesempatan, kita bisa bikin poin nanti. Defender nih defense kita bisa ngeblok, ke steal. Here's Landale. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Three on the clock. Dia pasti masuk nih. Ross for three. Waduh. Basley. Nice work on the board. Paying off with the basket. If you're a thirsty scorer, no better way than to create. Kali-kali kan kita dapat ribuan colongan. Main buat nama nama ini. Red kita tuh dari C plus bisa jadi B min mungkin. Oke berhubung lagi istirahat break Kita juga break minum dulu ya guys Oh bener-bener Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. On the court right now for the Mavericks. They've got MP, Kyrie Irving out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Maxi Kleba, and it's Wood in a pivot spot. Enak di sini kita bisa langsung milih ya, mau main di tim apa. Kalau dulu tu kita harus wawancara guys. Tiga tim dia saya wawancara. Ah, nah, 
outside Irving. Just five to shoot. On the wing, MP. The floater. Masuk gak? Wah, kalah. Nah, ini sisanya nih. Kita belum bagus bagus banget kan? But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. It just makes everyone on this team so much better. Yep, count it. Irving, seven points in the game. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. Pass to Kobe. Back to Paul. Kita mau dia perut ke belakang kan? So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Last year's outcome. So unfortunate. Game yang tight game ya. Jar ke jar. So it's Dallas ending the quarter up ten. Their work from distance has been impressive, and it's put them in this lead right now. We'll be right back. Fifty-two. Playing your thing today. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Some keys checked in for Hardaway. Ta gantin si Okogi. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Doncic against Paul Booker. The pass to Paul. Up and over Doncic, and there's Paul. That one's good on the assist for Chris Paul. Paul's got six. Ini pertandingan yang cukup berat sebenarnya berarti ya. Ayo ayo. Ah, ayo dulu di stream. Lari lari lari. Ah tu. Ah dapat kan? Itu dia. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Outside Booker. Karena habis ini kita coba bikin poinnya. Pass to Okogi. Mending pemain yang kita jaga nggak lepas dah. Itu aja dah. To the paint. Here's Booker, and he drops in the layup. Semua kita serahin ke teman-teman kita. Nine points here in the second half. Well, Devin Booker found his rhythm early. He sustained the offense all by himself, and his teammates simply keep finding him. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, "Quote: I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go." Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives him a chance to do just that. Thank you. Warren's checked in for Phoenix. Okay, keep it up, yeah. Like McGee, he's checked in for Dallas. Green comes in for Irving. It's Warren on the wing. Over the last few years, we've seen the rise of the skilled big. Ah, thank you guys. Di blok ya. Certainly it has made for a more wide open game. The advent of that stretch four, stretch five. It creates better spacing because you've got to deal with their shooting. To me, it's a much better product for the fans. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Baisley, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Powell, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardy comes in for Doncic. Just four to shoot. Ah. Okay. Wah, aku nggak dapat good defense kita. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. On the wing, Green, Booker defending. Green against Booker. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. No debate there. He got hammered. And we know that last year the Mavs had an issue with rim protection. They did, and obviously that is the starting point, BA, for a lot of defenses. So you understand you have to address that. What you know, though, unequivocally, is you have excellent wing defenders on the roster. Tadinya tu namanya mau buat tim Pekopelo kan? So really, it's about solidifying the paint, and let's see where this team goes from there. Booker. Whoa. And a foul called on the way up. Bola, guys. 
Already a terrific career for Booker. Three time all star and then Ya udah waktunya lah ya kita substitution on the court. Simpoin lah udah waktu terakhir nih. Waduh, si itu malah. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter. They've got Reggie Bullock, Kyrie Irving out there with Hardy, then it's MP and it's Wood in at the five. Ah. They get it again. Here's Aiden over Irving and that's up and in. Five for 12. Oh, pardon kita. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiden so good at using his physical advantages. Gue kira si Irving mau lah. And we just have to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Coba hit a double digit deficit. They're gonna have to play better. Belum banyak dipercaya sama teman kita ya. This kind of aggressive play. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant he does a little bit of everything. Hey BA, I mean you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals. Ah, itu dia. Poin pertama kita guys. Shot isn't falling, which is rare. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. Just let them get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Ah! Oh, Kogi! 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 
Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Back to Shaman. A Kogi on the wing. Ayo, ayo, apa nak? Kali ini kan, kan? That's bucket number five. He's five for twelve now. Well, Josh Kogi, because of his ability to elevate a threat from the interior, that's a nice finish. Outside Irving. Unload. Ah, sukla. Again, Dallas. Irving. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Craig. Ah, kita ni. Susah ini harus ngejar ngejarnya ini. To the middle. Yo yo yo, sini way. Great D that time from Irving. Nah, wah, nggak masuk. Yang nggak masuk. Okay, kita menang di game pertama kita. Awan tim yang menurut gua lumayan susah sih. Pemainnya lebih bagus juga. Okay. Nah, chemistry kita nambah tu seribu tiga ratus puluh. Ali Laforce and Doris Burke and the rest of our 2K team. This is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone. Wah, ada kau fresh starsnya juga nih. Hey, everyone. Oke, okay, kita sambil minum ya, guys. Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? What was your favorite part of tonight's game? Picking up the win lah. Ya. Yeah. Kita harus duluin kepentingan tim di sini, guys. Just picking up that W, man. I could have easily scored 100 tonight. Let's be real, but uh if we would have gotten that loss, that wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but I think you'd still be pretty happy with a hundred, no? Yeah, I mean, I guess you got me there. But you know what I mean, John. Stop playing with me. You know what I mean. You know, man, I I played this game to win. So if it's it's great to have this feeling my first time on the NBA floor. Totally, and it looked like you were having a great time out there. Ah, kalau dilihat-lihat mirip Casemiro dia ya. I know you were looking forward to this all season. Casemiro main basket sekarang. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day. But I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? Akan drafting terus yang dibahas nih. Could you speak a little about that? Community is everything, eh? Ah, kita coba lagi. Community. Community is everything to me so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side you know with that being said nah, it's only up to me to give them reason to cheer to smile to have something to look forward to you know and kita ini masih anak baru ya guys gak usah you know, I'm not sombong sombong lah okay, but is yang penting tim kita dulu nih dapat chemistry kita lebih enak mainnya nih uh, I mean, is it fair I don't know John life ain't fair <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm. Wise words. Truly. You know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So, I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MP. Yeah, Who is the newcomers? Time, I do. Okay, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. It's let's say one kita ya. Okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, 
that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. MP! Come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Ah, kita masih dipanggil MP ternyata ya. What I tell you about that? Oh, Bella, please. Okay. I mean, my bad. You got it. So, about Shep. Oh, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we take for picking you over him, but that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right. Well, I'm willing to put in the work, on and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the starters. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever. My door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. Right. See you, coach. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy tell me one thing, and the other I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbids you? Well... Not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well-researched. But, Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't want to make the coaching staff angry. That's not going to happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? <laughs> well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's palace all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mmm, okay. Well, like I said, I I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good, that's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddie's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward mm, to me. I mean, that was my too, yeah. I mean, I don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you, which means that Freddie's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. And you got to remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer is trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just got to, you got to walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> Look, all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. Let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want to slow play it. Slow play it, oh, exactly. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. 
keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... Mm. It's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man? Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there. I'm your guy. Okay, Let's get it. okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you. Win some games, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Win some games. I'm just saying. That ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be. All right, then. <laughs> All right, get out there, man. <laughs>